Hello everyone, Kevin Stevenson here with GetMeTheGeek.com and today we're going to talk about TrueNAS and NextCloud. We're going to take a TrueNAS core instance and install NextCloud on it, connecting it to the storage of the TrueNAS and as a gel. So let's get started. All right, here we go. I'm Kevin Stevenson with PhaseLogix. We're a managed IT services provider. If you'd like to hire us for a project, go ahead and check us out at GetMeTheGeek.com. If you find my videos valuable, go ahead and subscribe and like. If you'd like to support me directly, go ahead and buy me a coffee. Okay, let's go ahead and get this set up. Let's go over to Plugins, click on Nextcloud, go ahead and hit Install. You're gonna give it some information here. You can name your plugin whatever you like. Give the jails a name. And we call it next cloud jail. I'm going to use DHCP instead of NAT because so I, I want a separate IP address. And then just go ahead and hit save. That's going to go ahead and create your next cloud instance. That'll take it just a second. And let's come back as soon as that's done. Okay, so there you have it. It's installed. So it went through all these things and it gives you a readout of the plugin, what happened, and it gives you an IP address. So you go ahead and copy that IP address. Um, you actually don't need it, but you are going to need that username and password. So let's go ahead and close that. And so you're going to see your instance here. So if you go over here, hit the little down arrow, and then you hit manage it's going to open a new tab and it's going to go bam, bam, bam. you've got an error and the reason why that we have this error is because i made one change to the installation i chose to do dhcp instead of net because and then so therefore i need to go into this jail and update the skin fig file in order to access this so we'll go down here to the jail portion find our jail click on it go to the shell and we're going to navigate to the config file that's going to be in user local dub 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 config oops sorry xcloud config yeah and then config.php so we're going to use vi And go in here and roll on down to the trusted domains so you will see the IP address of this free NAS and so I need to insert a new IP address which is the IP address of the X League next cloud so hit I on your keyboard and then make a new line go over here and call this two and then go ahead and put in your IP address One ninety seven, my bad. Seven, boom. All right. So there we have that new IP address in here. We are going to escape WQ. And there we go. Now I go back over here and I refresh this page. You're going to have your login. So you might be asking yourself, well, okay, how do I get into this thing? So let's go back to our plugins. Take a look at our plugin and there's post install notes. So here is our database name, database user, database password, admin user and admin password. And log in. This will be our first time logging in. And here we are with the, the great little splash screen and all this stuff. So we can do customize. You can choose your backgrounds. 
Um, maybe let's just do this guy. Weather service, things like that. Recent statuses, uh, you know, all the good things that, that Nextcloud can do for you. Let's go to our files. Here's a file, here's a picture, it loads up. Uh, MP3, boom. That's that. PDF. Okay, go to documents. Let's go. Here's a markdown document. Let's go ahead and look at our settings. What do we have? All this information here. You go down here. What I like to do is first thing I do is go to the admin and look at the security stuff. You're going to have stuff here. So feel free to fix that. One of the things that you're going to notice is this says right off the bat HTTP, not HTTPS. Do not expose this to the internet without putting some sort of secure proxy or something in front of it or doing something to go to the next level for security purposes. But from this point in time, you are running with a, a free net or a next cloud instance, and you can do all the wonderful things that you can do with next cloud. That's all there is to it. Setting up next cloud and changing it to a different IP address. If you want to use NAT translation, just go ahead and click next on that original install. Don't even bother to, to make any changes. It will uh, make a different, it'll be the, the your TrueNAS IP address on a different port. And so if you're putting a proxy in front of it for SSL purposes anyway, that's totally fine because uh, then you don't even have to worry about having a new extra port for it. So maybe you want to do it that way. Maybe you don't. Uh, I'm Kevin Stevenson with GetMeTheGeek.com. Thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time.